Project Pabst is back after a seven year break and we couldn't have been more excited. The lineup was packed with big names like Billy Idol, Big Thief, T-Pain, plus a couple of smaller local artists. The venue has stages at both ends, awesome food trucks and vendors selling cool art and clothing. The festival is all about supporting local businesses and having a blast without spending a fortune. So this is the first time they've done it in six years. We're gonna to talk to some people, maybe some OG people, see if they've been here before, what it was like, is it any different? How's the lineup? Should be pretty cool. We went to the wrong spot. <laughs> we thought that was it. Hee <laughs> We're such silly gooses. That would be it down there. This is my boy Sam, we just met. He's hanging out with Chrome. How's your experience of the festival been so far? It's been so good. I mean, like day one, a little bit more up. I feel like everybody's a little bit hungover today. The PBR is hidden. I feel like the lack of other choices, like I'm hungover, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, it's been good. It's been a lot of fun. Heck yeah. Now, being here, kind of hanging out at the booth, what's been like your favorite thing between, because you're kind of between the two stages right here. What have you seen? What have you heard? What's been What's been on your mind? I mean, like the whole crew loved T-Pain. Yeah. Like I, I ditched my post here. Like I, I left my friends in the lurch to go walk over and you know, five o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was good. Is there somebody you're looking forward to today? Yeah, that's... Big Thief. Big Thief. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I showed up early. I got to see them do sound check. It was the only one in the audience. It was, it was magic. <laughs> now one more question for you, Sam. Not working. Would you come back here as just like a festival goer versus like working it? Oh, absolutely. I feel like it's like the perfect amount of people here. You know, it's a really good mix of artists. I feel like it's not like a homogenous, you know, genre of music. There's a little bit of something for everybody. It's great. Heck yeah. Sam, you killed it. Thank you, brother. <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> that was wild. That echoed throughout downtown Portland, my brother. <laughs> Is this your first time at the Paps Project? Yes, it is. Yeah, how do you like it so far? Um, it's pretty chill. It's chill, but like upbeat when it needs to be, but it's nice. Who did you come here to see? T-Pain. T-Pain. So you were here both days. How did Saturday versus Sunday, how would you compare the two? I feel like Saturday definitely felt a little more festival-like. Today's a little more chill, which I'm not mad at. Yeah. Is there someone today that you're really looking forward to seeing? Um. Denzel Curry, I've seen him before and I'm looking for that hype, but I'm really glad we came early because all the earlier acts are people that I never heard of, but I'm now a fan of, so that's cool. Heck yeah, yeah, so getting out there, seeing some new people, cool, yeah. awesome. Is Can I plug your social or anything like that? Yeah, sure, my Instagram is at oopswrongdoor. Thank you so much, Thank we you. appreciate your time. Thank you, enjoy the festival. Yeah. Wow. 
would I go again next year? I say I would, depending on the lineup. Like, it's downtown, it's really accessible, there's good food, there's good drinks, it's a cheap price. Parking is amazing. I mean, we got here around 3 o'clock and we're able to find parking for $12. Yeah, I'd come here again. 10 out of 10, would recommend. I love how accessible it is. Uh, it's a great atmosphere. I think that's just Portland in general though, like the general vibe of everyone that lives here is so welcoming and loving and silly and lots of dancing, lots of silliness. Oh, I will say there is a lot of dust. So prepare, bring a bandana. You should bring one for next year. Cause my boogers are black.